us make man. The word man here is the word ish, I-S-H, write it down in Hebrew, ish. It's a plural word, which means that God wasn't making a person, he was making a species. All of us is called man. For example, we call all dogs, dogs. We call all cats, cats. God called all of us man. Man is the designation of the whole species. It comes in two models, male and female. But it's all man. And then he says, I want to make this particular product in my own image. Write the word image down. See, this stuff is important. This is what set me free. The word image doesn't mean to look like. The Hebrew word means characteristics. Characteristics. Let them have the same characteristics, qualities of God. No Baptist pastor told me that. My father couldn't teach me that. He didn't know it. I had to find it for myself. I have God's character. Wow. What a discovery for a little boy sleeping on the floor. I am just like my father, God. Oh, my mind was changing. You know, we had teachers from Europe because we were oppressed by the British, you know. We were bought there as slaves years ago. My great-grandfather was a slave, you know. And, and so the, 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 the British people, man, they, they told us that we were half-breed monkeys. They were very clear. They said, you are not fully humans. They told us this in class. One of them said to me, you are retarded. Your brain is maldeveloped. You, you are not able to be educated. All you can do is music and dancing. And that's why they still believe that today right here in this city. All your people do is dance and music. Why don't you run the economy? We're not world changers, we are entertainers. I decided, no, I got God's character. I gotta find this. The qualities of God is in you. Every one of you, black, white, Asian, it doesn't matter, Puerto Rican, you have God's image. This is not a message for any race of people. It's for humans. You can do anything you dream. You're just like your God, your father. Boy, that thing hit me like a bolt of light. Wow. And then the word likeness. I had to look for it myself in the Hebrew. You know what it means? It means to function like. Let us make a creature that has our characteristics and functions like us. That means you function just like God, your father. Which means you got to study how does God function. Because if you don't function like God, you are malfunctioning. For example, in God, the Bible said there's no fear. So when you fear life, you are malfunctioning. So I'm afraid of nothing. I'm telling you, literally, I'm afraid of nothing. That makes me dangerous. A fearless man is a dangerous man. I'm not afraid of death. And that's the highest threat you can give me. And I'm not afraid of death. And you'll find that all true leaders have no fear of death. As a matter of fact, they have an affair with death. All true leaders. Why did God create you? Read it. To have what? Dominion. So what was the motivation for God's creation? Of you? Dominion. Dominion. Why did God create you? Say it loud. Dominion. Well, what motivated God to create you? Dominion. What was the reason why God created you? Dominion. Yeah, not to have worship services. He never said prayer meetings. 
He never said to be a bishop. We, I don't know. We, culture has done a good job with us. Here's a guy who's a bishop and can't pay his light bill. Here's an evangelist who owes everybody. Here's an apostle who can't even pay his mortgage. Something's wrong with this. We missed the point. He didn't create you to be a title. He created you to have dominion. Everybody say dominion. dominion. This is where leadership is born. See, because the word dominion, I checked it out, is the word radah in Hebrew. Write it down. It actually means to rule. It also means to govern. It means to master to manage resources. It means to control things. It means to have sovereign authority. It actually means to lead. Please buy this CD and listen to it a few times. Get this in your spirit. That is why you are created. To be a ruler, a governor, a manager, a controller, an authority, and a leader. Now, here's why I changed. Here's why I changed. When I discovered this, I had to discover the second principle. I'm going to give it to you. If he designed you, created you to be a leader, a master, a governor, a ruler, a controller, then there must be the ability to do it. But notice, he didn't give you rulership over people. He listed what you should lead. Birds, fish, animals, plants, and creeps. This is very important. God says, let's make a leader, a governor, a manager, a ruler, not to rule people. So leadership in God's mind is not about people. It's about resources.